Hello everyone, welcome back to another DIY video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Police MDT. Keep in mind, it does not matter if you're California High Patrol or Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Both cards look the same, they've got the same button placements and everything. Of course, it is going to have different colour schemes because they are different departments, it makes them unique. So currently, I'm just going to log into the BCSO card. So basically, if I go over here, I'm going to press whichever session you're in. So currently, I'm just going to say that I'm in Server 1. And if I had a subdivision, I could click on there, but I don't, so I'm just going to click no subdivision. I'm going to go identifier, I'm going to use 3 try 351 and then we're going to go over and continue. If you, um, uh, if you do have a 1012, just tick this, type in the name. So let's say I type in Lexi Gibbs, this is my account. Just put in one of my identifiers, and then it'll add me to that 1012. But of course I'm not, so I'm just going to continue. Okay, so here we are. We are inside of the police MDT for Blaine County Sheriff's Office. As um, uh, as I said before, it, it all looks the same. Some things in here you guys might not see, such as the supervisor panel. Only supervisors will be able to see this. So currently I can see we have um, a active supervisor who is currently 10-8. We have a um, fire unit who is currently available. Uh, we have a another CHP available, 10-8. And we have another... One that's temporarily out of service. Okay, so currently, of course, first thing we should always do: press up here, go on duty, go over here, go 10-8. Okay, so we've also got all these buttons. So 10-8 is available, 10-7 unavailable, 10-6 busy, 10-11. That a lot of you guys might not know is a traffic stop. Traffic stops basically. Say I pulled over a vehicle and dispatch isn't available at this moment in time so i could always just go click 10 11 and basically i'm gonna say it's on joshua road and basically look it's asking for a postal okay so postals we have a patrol map if you click on it it'll load up i hope loads up Oh, there we go. You know, sometimes it does take a little bit, but it loads up. So basically, let's go over to Joshua Road over here. Okay, so this is Joshua, as you guys can see. Let's find one. Okay, so are you sure we're gonna do it here? So eight five four. Okay, I'm gonna say that we're pulling them over like right here. So eight five four. Okay, and I'm just gonna say it's gonna be a pink photo, like my one inside game. Actually, no, I should be using. Um, Capitals when putting in a description. So pink futo, white male ran stop sign. Let's sure let's do that. Confirm it. And as you can hear from that little dling, you guys can see we are inside a, um, a call now. So currently it's going to be call number 163, this is always unique depending on when you get your call sign, or um, or the call even. Um, as we can see the information was put in, so 854 was the postal I provided, location Joshua Road. The call origin is from me, um, um, if a dispatcher added this to you it would be um, their call sign, so the dispatchers. Of course this is a 1011 traffic stop, and then we have description if we put in a description that's a work in progress with the CAD keep in mind um, and then the shared notepad that basically all units and dispatches can see so basically as we can see we're currently 1023 because I self generated this call that means I must be on scene for it okay and I think when a dispatch is actually on right now um, so I think he's just taking me off the call just stand by um, okay so guys all right so basically we're back um, I've just had to inform dispatchers to um, to leave me on a call that was Poor, it's a very poorly timed, but it's alright. Okay, so um, okay, so now as you can see, um, I'll talk about the 1023. Um, okay, so basically it's like when you self-generate a call, it's gonna make yourself 1023 already. Or when a dispatcher sets you on a call, I'm pretty sure it already sets you to 1097, so it's like you'll be en route to that. Um, okay, so currently let's say like I was en route to that, let's say like as a 32. There I would be going. I would be going 1032. Um or 1097 even. And then if I do 1015, that is someone in custody. And, that, and as you see, as I update my statuses, they do pop up inside the call log. So basically dispatchers and other units can see that. 
so it's pretty cool. Okay, so let's go to go 10-8, and then based on that call, we'll go code 4, and then dispatch uh, can delete that another time. Uh, okay, so we do have a panic button, so if I click this... Okay, so basically that is a noise everyone will hear inside CAD, apart from civilians. So currently, dispatchers will be notified on who it was, uh, and... As you all know, it's like the panic button is red, that means you have done it. And basically, it says status 10 7 panic button press. Okay, so, okay, so that's how that works. So basically, I'm just going to deactivate panic button. So basically, then. The panic button's no longer going on. Okay, if I click 10 codes, it loads up every single 10 codes inside of our CAD system, as you guys can see. Just in case you forget one, maybe. Uh, patrol map, I've already showed that off. It's got a bunch of postals in it, so basically you can give more information on a location or like find out where you are, like what's the road name or anything like that. Um, reports, basically. You I would say usually all this is done via a ID that I'll show you in a minute. So of course you got all of this that basically you get traffic tickets, basically you put in Civ's name, plate if they are driving a vehicle, put in what they did, and then that will put in a warning on their ID. You can also do traffic tickets, that same situation except with just fines. Um, incident reports, we don't really use these much and I'm going to get, um, I'm going to get people to start using this a lot more because it's actually really good and it informs a lot of people it's just inside the system so it looks good we know what happened and then arrest reports basically we can put what charges they're being charged on their name and then sign it and then they've got that under their name basically I can show you some of this if I go to I think if I go to Lenny Surf as we can see uh, he has a mugshot, of course this is his mugshot. We have, I know he owns a firearm. And we'll see he's been previously arrested on assault on a peace officer, failure to comply, and false identification due to, if you do not have a mugshot on a civilian character, it does class as false identification and is illegal. So that's a thing. And then I've had no traffic prize on this, and I've also had no warrants. But the thing is, you can also create warrants. Basically, I can put like a reason. I can say, oh yeah, it was issued by the sheriff's office, and the reason for it. And then basically, if I click sign it, I'll sign it. Of course, I'm not going to do that because I don't want a warrant. Um, uh, rest report, same situation. It just fills in all of his information. Uh, ticket same and same with the warning. It just puts his information. Of course, plates don't get entered, so you have to do that manually. Okay. Um, we've also got cars. Oh no, uh, firearms actually. So basically, you can just put S uh, SA and then just click on one. I don't recommend ever looking through that. I would recommend looking through the the names of people, just because it's a lot easier to find out who was. So I'm just gonna try four or five. Okay. So let's use this. Marshall Mathers. I don't have a clue who this is. We can even look it up. So if I just copy his name. The Batty 801, black, red, and it has insurance that is valid. Basically, if I just go up here, I'm just going to put the name in. Okay, so currently this guy could get arrested for false identification. He's been driving under the influence. He's got a ticket for speeding reckless driving. I'll do retro custom. He's also got a bunch of guns, so he's a rich guy by the looks of it. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so, of course, now we can also look at the active officers. So, this is just um, subdivision. So, look, Xanon's currently a medical examiner. It's not that big. It's, it's like, I highly doubt you'll ever look at active calls. You can see he's been attached to what? So, currently, these two were the calls that I made for the test. And then, actually, you know, these three are the ones. You know, these four are the ones that I've been testing with. So, yeah. And then night mode, so then everything turns black, and then things turn white. It's quite nice, it looks quite good. Of course, you can toggle that anytime you want. 
Okay, so you've also got a notepad, just in case you want to write any notes. So, like, hey, my name is Taylor. Subdivision desk, it's an active subdivisions. This is probably going to get removed at some point in the future. Uh, and if you're a supervisor, you can see it's patrolling. Okay, so, guys, that's going to be it for the... Uh, for the police MDT if you guys did enjoy hit the like button subscribe and also hit that little bell so then you guys never miss an upload from me in the future and I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye